This video is a continuation from the in-lab course, Lab 1, 6-year financial projection on page 209 in Excel Chapter 3. We're going to skip ahead to Excel page 212, halfway down, started from Instructions Part 2. We already have our six-year financial projection, our medical supply online warehouse open up with the color sets, our charts on the right, our sparkline tools, and we're going to start this. So it says select the non-adjacent ranges from B3 to G3. So we select from B3 to G3 while holding down the shift button. And then it says select from B19 to G19 to create a 3D cylinder chart. Don't jump ahead, read everything as it is. So from B19 to G19. I hold down the control key and drag to the right. So now that's selected. Now it says to draw the chart by clicking on the column button. So we go to insert tab. And then we locate the charts group. We select columns. And then it says select from the column. First we'll select row 3. So we go down 3 rows and then it wants column 1. So this is column one, so don't jump over to this 3D cylinder. Stay with the clustered cylinder. We click OK. Next what it wants us to do is it wants us to move the chart. So with the chart selected, click Move Chart, and we want to move it to a new sheet. So we say OK. Now on the new sheet, Number three, it tells us to delete the legend. So we select the series one and click delete. This expands the window. Following this, it wants us to add a title at the top. So to do so, we select chart tools layout tab and labels group. And then the chart title. And the one you're going to want to select is like the one in figure 3-88, which is above the chart. Displays the title at the top of the chart of the area and resize chart. Next, what it tells us to do is to change the calendar of the cylinders. Click one of the cylinders and use the shape fill chart. So if you really want, you can change it. It's not necessary, but if you'd like to, you can. So we would go over to format, and you have shape fill right here. So if you feel like changing it, you can change the color to any one you choose or desire. I'm going to go back to red so it looks exactly like 3-88. Next what it wants us to do is it wants us to add color to the background part of the of the chart both on the column part and on the back and on the bottom. So we select the back. Do not select the lines otherwise the shape fill will disappear. Select in between the lines. It'll select the back and try to match it so we go with say a light gray color we'll go with the ice blue and then select the bottom and it looks like they're using a black so we'll go shape fill on a black next in five it asks us to rename the six year financial projection or the sheet tabs to six year financial projections and 3d cylinder chart then to rearrange the chart so that the worksheet is leftmost and the color their tabs as and color their tabs as shown in figure 3-8 at the same time I'm also going to add the 6 year net income projections at the top so first let's change the title Then we select chart 2. Same thing as well. Match it to figure 3-88. So it would be 6 year financial projection. And the 3D cylinder chart is correct. However, now we take the 3D cylinder chart
Well, actually, it got named wrong. This should actually be called 3D cylinder chart. Now move the six here to the left and color them correctly. So the six here would be colored at yellow. And the 3D cylinder chart, well, that doesn't exactly show what color they want it to, so we'll change that to a teal. And now click the Save button. In the next video, I'll show you how to use Instructions Part 3.